We got picked up at the airport. I have here Brian Hilliard, the beast, the legend. What's up, Brian? Welcome to Ariel Torres' this WKF Karate One Premier League Istanbul yep. Blog. This guy's so loud, bro. Let's get it. Beast. What's up guys, we are at the airport and we are going to Istanbul for the first Premier League of the year and the first Premier League in a whole year. It's been a long time my people and here we are at the airport. Actually, it's pretty empty, like look. No. But yeah, everyone that I have seen, they're being safe, they're all keeping on a mask, they're all staying far away from each other. So yeah, actually, um, it is pretty safe. It's gonna be a great vlog. Let's make it happen. And we have no one in our row, guys. Look, really no one in our row. Yes. yes. Guys, we finally made it to the room. Oh my God, it has been such a long day and it is so cold here in Turkey. Ah, finally, I get to relax. So, I'll see you guys later. Guys, I got here and I've been here for what, three hours and we're already training. We have Tom, we have Frankie, we have Brian and Brian. It's good, it's good, it's good. Very good, very good, good sweat, easy. Guys, so the first day in Istanbul is complete. It was very, very fast. So let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys. I was taking a shower, I ordered room service. Usually room service takes like what, 45 minutes to arrive or whatever. <laughs> I'm halfway through my shower and I get a, a, a call, so I leave my, I, I get out of the shower, hello, the room, the food was ready, and here we have it, look, boom, and the best thing is that it looks good and it was great price, like $4 US, awesome guys, awesome, so let's eat, good morning everyone, I just woke up and, wow, I am tired, it was so hot. It was so hot. All right, so today we have a long, 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 long day. Let's get started first. I need to do my hair. All right, guys, I have done my hair. Bam, it only took five minutes. I promise it only took five minutes. It was boom, done, and not that much gel, I promise. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to go downstairs to train. I have my bag right there, and yeah. So after I go downstairs, we're gonna train. After training, we will do registration, and I'll keep you guys updated every step of the way. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog, so yeah, let's get to it. right now we have one hotel over here one hotel over here and in the middle right there is the competition and guys it is cold it is so cold i did not expect it to be this cold right now but yeah we're going we're going to get registration done guys registration is done we finished it um oh my goodness it took so long in there it was uh not a big line but we had to present our covid test and it had to be like three days ago if not um they'll make you take one there and yeah it was a lot of stuff but yeah we got it done boom 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 now we're gonna wait for the rest of the teammates to um to finish checking in and get weighed in so that we can go grocery store okay, guys, we're going on an adventure over here boom yo for, for the, the vlog oh, team usa for the vlog, vlog for the dogs Heck yeah. for the dogs oh. Guys, we found a supermarket. We found a market. We found a market right there. Boom, 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 right there, right, right there. And Mason just wants Starbucks because he's, a, he's a, Starbucks, man. He wants Starbucks, bro. We got the essentials. What's up, guys? We are already in the room. Boom! I am packing my stuff right there because I found out the draw at three or two. So it means I'm going to be red. So I'm here taking out all the things and putting in my red gi and my red belt. So it's all ready now. There are so many things going on. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. They told us that beforehand we're going to take an antigen test. And after that, if it's uh, negative, they'll let us in. If not, you know, quarantine and, and you can't compete. But yeah. And the hard part is we can't even watch our friends compete, like our teammates. 
I think that's what they told us, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I hope that's not true. But today wasn't that crazy. Training was great. Um, I'm gonna eat dinner probably right now. I'm gonna order some some dinner. Anyway, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. It's game day, guys. We're walking to the competition. We had to be there very early, actually. Usually, I'm there like at eight, but this time I have to be there at seven thirty because we have to take a COVID test beforehand. So yeah, let's get it. Right, guys so round two is done i got 2406 with corona <sighs> nervous i was so tight but it's okay it's okay now we're going to round two i think we only have like the, not the top 15 in the whole division so let's see <sighs> all right guys so good news let me take this off guys we have made the bronze medal match of istanbul unfortunately i don't have any videos because the competition was closed doors so no one can go in and watch us yeah we couldn't record it so i'm very upset about that but i'm so happy i made the bronze medal match uh round one i did kurunfa round two i did uh ohandai and then in the semi-final match i got second place behind ali with anandai so now i'm going to the bronze medal match tomorrow in a few hours i got my gi on still because i had to take a pcr test and here are the results boom negative negative it tested negative so that way I can leave tomorrow. I have to compete bronze medal match tomorrow. Uh, then literally get on my flight and go bye bye home. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry this vlog. We haven't been able to adventure, go everywhere. But I hope you it's been informative for you guys. So you can see the process that the COVID thing goes through. So yeah, now I'm just going to take off my gi, put it away, um, edit my post, post on Instagram and all that stuff. Um, other than that, guys, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Ariel Torres Gutierrez bronze madalyana. Evet, tecrübesiyle de kazanmış oldu aynı zamanda. Hey guys, so we are here at the airport and I won the bronze medal at the Istanbul Premier League. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. Look at that boom, we're at the airport. I immediately had to leave and take off because as soon as I finished my medal match, I had to go to the airport because there's another project coming up. And medal champion right here, guys. Us, us, us. Yes, my first medal in um, four years for Premier League and Series A. And yeah, very happy. But there's another project coming up, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Uh, sorry again, we couldn't even sightsee and do all that stuff because yeah. But anyway, I'm going to check in now. So I'll check in with you guys later. All right, guys, I am finally home after so many hours of flying. As soon as I got home from Istanbul, I had to get on a flight and fly to Texas for an incredible project that I vlogged, but I can't post yet because I cannot. So once I can, I'll post it up and I hope you guys enjoy it. But other than that, guys, here is the medal from Premier League Istanbul. This was the first Premier League of the year with so many restrictions with travel, with so many restrictions. We had an event. It was so nerve wracking because there was no one there watching us, you know? It was so quiet. Everyone was just looking at us. It was like very, very, like, felt like a lot of pressure, you know? But other than that, I was so excited to finally step on the map, finally compete against all these athletes that we've been pushing very hard, you know, despite everything that's been going on. And I'm just so proud that we were all able to, you know, uh, stay safe in this environment and push and press forward and, and compete. Yeah, I had four rounds in total, round one. I did Karunfa. I decided to open up with Karunfa because I've been training it a lot and I was very, very comfortable with it. And I really wanted to do it in round one. And then in round two, I did Ohandai. I did well, I passed that round. I was happy with the feeling I got. I was a little nervous again, so I was tense in some parts and all that. But then round three, I felt a lot better. I felt a lot more loose. It was like, 
Okay, we made it in the third round. This is the last round of the day. And I did out and die. I felt really good. I felt loose. And, and thankfully, I ended up behind the alley. And I qualified for the bronze medal match. In the bronze medal match, I did on on. I felt good. Uh, I tried out some new things, you know, there's a lot to adjust, there's many things to fix, but overall, I'm happy with my performance, you know, but we gotta keep pushing forward, we gotta keep training, we gotta keep working. There's so much left that I have to strive for. And I just wanna thank you guys, thank you guys for the incredible messages. I got so many messages on my Instagram and on my Facebook, and I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys taking the time to message me and congratulate me or wish me the best and send me all that positive energy. And I hope you guys keep doing it, you know, um, it, it, it takes a village to keep pressing forward and I'm glad I have uh, an incredible team, you know, from my saint Sarah Robert Young to my coach, Fowler Ramos, to my family and everyone that supports me around me. Uh, especially my training partner, Grace. She helps me push all the time. So thank you guys uh, and thank you all for everything you've done. Let's keep pushing forward. Next we have Portugal. Uh, hopefully it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter. We keep pushing forward. This is a year that we overcome all the obstacles that come our way. We'll overcome them, we'll fight, and we'll make it happen. All right, guys? Until next time, thank you all for the support, and I'll see you on the next one.